Hello! In this video I want to share with you a technique that will help you strengthen your energy boundaries. If you are empathetic, and usually people who like energy work, who are drawn to it, are very empathetic, you probably feel drained, you feel exhausted after being in a place where you have way too many people <laughs> around you, or shopping centers, they usually work the same. Uh, because in those kinds of spaces, if your energy boundaries aren't strong, you'll try to spread yourself thin, trying to harmonize everyone and everything in your environment to make you feel good. And that's a losing battle on its own, because you can't heal the world, but you will try to do it anyway. So the, the answer to, to help you be in those kinds of spaces and just feel good is to create a strong energetic boundary around you. It's not a protection because you don't need protection, but it's a strong energetic boundary that allows you to have your own space and just feel comfortable and safe and strong within your own space. This is a technique that I learned from Jeffrey Allen and it's called the permission rules. I'll walk you through it and at the end I'll give you the summarized steps so you can do it on your own anytime that you want. So we start this technique by creating a grounding cord. And if you have your own technique to create a grounding cord, you can use it now. If not, you have a video that explains how to create grounding cords, you can give it a look. But in a summarized version, you just call your energy back to you, you breathe it in and expand it throughout your body. You focus on your root chakra, you send a beam of energy to the earth's core, you ask that energy to expand until it's as wide as your body, and then you just continue that energy up, extend it and ask it to create almost a tunnel that extends all the way up to the universe. So after you create your grounding cord, you're connected from above and from below. And now you just choose a color, a color that makes you feel safe, comfortable and warm, almost wrapped in an embrace. And for this example, I'll use a silvery warm pink. So I will then ask that energy to come to me by breathing it in from both the universe and the earth. And I'll breathe it in all the way into my heart chakra. So I'm calling that energy into my heart chakra and then breathe it out and expand it throughout my energy field and breathe that energy in again to your heart chakra and breathe it out and expand it throughout your field. Again, bring that energy in from both the universe and the heart, the, the earth and just breathe it out and expand it all the way through your energy field. And after you do this a few times, you'll start to feel that your energy feels more solid almost around you. You'll start to feel the presence of your energy. You have a stronger aura around you. It's more filled with that frequency that you pulled, that color, color is a frequency, that you pulled from both the universe and the earth. And that frequency is expanding and filling up your aura. So after you do this, you'll want to strengthen the boundaries of your aura itself. So you can imagine that at the edges, the edges of your aura, your material isn't just energy, because energy feels very open and permeable, but you can feel almost that you have a leathery kind of skin all around your aura, which is flexible, but it's strong and it doesn't allow anything to just cross it. So you still have a strong, flexible, energy field around you, but it's not as open as you would imagine a, an energy just field to be. You have that leathery skin all around your aura. So that's the first step. So after feeling that you have that stronger boundary, you create an energy symbol, which is in this case a rose. So you create an energetic rose and you place that rose in front of you at an arm's length distance. So it would be in front of you in your aura. And you can create anything else other than a rose as a symbol, but this was taught with a rose. So that rose is going to be the dynamic control that moves your energy boundaries closer or farther away from you. So the way that this works after you create your energy 
rose, which is the permission rose, and place it at an arm's length distance of you. Every time that you are around other people, that rose is going to dynamically adjust the length of your aura. So if you are here and you have a person right here, the rose would pull your energy, your aura, until it was here. So that person would not be in your energy field. They would be still on the outside, even if your energy field was pulled that close to you, but they would not interfere with your energy. It would be right here. When that person moved away, the rose would push back your aura to its normal length. And this energy rose, the permission rose, is something that also multiplies. So if you're in a place that you have many people around you, let's say one's here, one's here, one's there, one's there, it creates four roses in this case, and they all dynamically adjust your aura so that no one else is actually in your energy field. They have their own space, you have your own space, and no one interferes with anyone else. When those people move out of your field, the roses just push your aura back to its normal size. So it's a dynamic control that this rose does. Every time that you're surrounded by people, it just adjusts your aura, your energy field, so that no one is inside of your energy and they have their space and you have your own space. And that's why it's called a permission rose, because you're not protecting yourself from anyone, you're just giving them permission to be there and giving yourself permission to have your own space. And you can do this every day if you want, or you can just do it whenever you feel that you're about to enter a, a space or a situation where you'll have people just pulling on you and that you'll know that you'll be mm, a little drained. You create the energy rose and it will do all the heavy lifting, <laughs> all the work for you, the adjusting. So I advise you to try it because it's a very interesting exercise and the, the results that you have from it can be pretty amazing, like being in shopping centers, which are usually very draining for people who are sensitive to energy and just feeling happy and fine just being there. So you can enjoy new places where you previously probably didn't feel very comfortable. So the summarized steps for creation for the creation of the permission rules are first ground yourself, then pull energy from both the universe and the earth in the color that you prefer, breathe it in to your heart chakra and breathe it out to your energy field. Do this a few times until you feel that your energy is strong and that you're feeling it more solid, vibrating oscillating around you. After you feel that your energy is well filled, just see that skin all around it in whatever material you prefer, but something that's flexible but strong is a very good choice. So you can see it as a leathery skin around you. Then you create the permission rose and put it at an arm's length distance in front of you. And you just leave it there because you know that if you need more than one, it will multiply. If you need just one on this side, it will move here to adjust your aura. And that's it. Then you just go ahead and enjoy your day. And I hope you enjoy this exercise too, this technique. Bye.